Now, Vivo has just launched their Vivo X90 Pro and X90, their first flagship of 2023. So, we are here in Vietnam. The Vivo X90 Pro has the world's largest smartphone camera in the world and the sensor is this big. It might look tiny, but for a smartphone, it's really big. Now, we'll be testing everything in these two smartphones. Now, first off, these boxes have this big circle here on the box. Inside, you get the phone and it has this texture. Ew, dude, stop. It's crazy. <laughs> and look at the packaging. You get a 120 watt charger, Type-C to Type-C cable. You get this TPU case premium SIM ejector tool. By the way, Vivo X90 and X90 Pro both have support for dual SIM card and there is also support for eSIM. You get pretty much the same thing with Vivo X90 and mostly we'll talk about Vivo X90 Pro but wherever needed, I'll mention Vivo X90 as well so you guys have a clear idea. Now one thing I really liked about Vivo phones is you get a PD charger. So see here, this device tells you at what speed your device is charging and see it can charge my laptop properly at 61 65 watt so this charger can fast charge your tws laptop smartphone all at the same time really good thumbs up to vivo for a pd charger now vivo phones are known for three things camera camera and camera now before we get to that this is by far the most well-built phone like you get this leather type finish on the back just hear the feel of it that's smooth smooth you get the silver strip, extreme imagination. Also, you get this 6.78 inch 120Hz full HD curved display which just sits in your hand. Also, the Vivo X90 comes in this cool breeze blue color. You have the same extreme imagination strip, the same Zeiss logo and I like this color. Matches. Mm, matches. It's got glass back. Both the phones have Scott Sensation Alpha protection on the front. And this year, the X90 Pro camera module has a big circle on the back instead of that flat panel. And the X90 Pro has the largest one inch sensor. And the difference in the camera bump between one inch sensor and no one inch sensor is like this much, see? But the question is, how good is the camera? Now coming to the camera, the Vivo X90 Pro comes with a 50 megapixel one inch sensor. And this is the thing we are most interested to check out. Now we have had complaints with Vivo in the past regarding the photos are saturated, they look boosted and recently I've seen you get this Zeiss natural color mode, this is 2.0 and here's Vivo's photo and then here's Zeiss natural color photo. I mean, it looks so natural. Even these natural colors show in human photos, like see this Minal photo and the background, Minal's t-shirt, his skin are all in the same color palette and the phone does a beautiful job in showing all these colors. Same with this photo. The main camera sensor is so sharp and good. The colors are so good. Now this year you get Vivo's new V2 chip which helps in photos and videos. It helps reduce noise in low light photos and the video quality in low light was good. Like you can see here, even in low light I noticed this year, you see these glasses on the back of the camera. This year you have extra eight lens coating. So now see if I hold the camera against a strong light, there is literally no flare. Whereas if you see the iPhone 14 Pro, you can see the light reflection and the bad flare. Now in my testing, I noticed whenever you take the photos against the light, it tries to brighten up the face a little bit. That is because of HDR. But the most interesting part about the camera is this 2X telephoto camera. Now usually with flagships like iPhone 14 Pro, S23 Ultra, the opening is like f2.4, f2.8, the aperture of the telephoto camera. But here you get f1.6. So smaller the number, the bigger the opening, more light gets in. In short, the portrait photos come out so good. Like, have a look at these photos. Now you also get some Zeiss bokeh filters like Biotar, Sonar, etc. This year you have one new filter called Cineflare. These portrait photos are by far the best I've taken on a smartphone. You also get a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and I did not notice any color shift. The colors were good, but the photos were overall okay. -ish. Now last year we had a 5X telephoto camera on the Vivo X80 Pro. It's not present this year. And if you're a camera enthusiast like me, there are lots of features. Like I would need one full video to explain all of it, but here are two of my favorite features. Like number one, you get this sports mode. And here we were trying to take a photo of these fans and these are turning very fast due to the wind. And have a look at the photo. It's like time froze. It's like statue. 
and there are multiple shots the photos come out crisp and sharp so we are here at the asia's tallest pagoda and this is 13th floor now this vivo x90 pro has this size architectural and landscape mode which is very interesting let me show you so now we are at this 13th floor and things look like so tiny tiny miniature like this thing and this is such a height like everything looks far away tiny and here's how the photo looks it gives the vibe of a miniature lilliput type city you can shoot max in 8k 24 fps and the footage looks good like the one inch sensor is large so you will have like good background blur but in 8k you don't get stabilization so the footage is much more stable when you switch to 4k 60 fps on the front you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera and the selfies have good color and skin tone and you get a 16 megapixel front selfie camera that can record in 1080p 30 fps and you can have an idea of the stabilization and everything but they are claiming really good stabilization they have achieved cipa level 4 for stabilization like pro cameras honestly i've heard cipa for the first time now the younger vivo x90 has a 50 megapixel main camera 12 megapixel ultra wide and 12 megapixel 2x portrait camera even the photos from it come out good like the colors are quite similar now it's just first impression but here's what i think the main camera the zeiss portrait and night mode is like the one of the best it's just that there's no 4k recording in the front camera but in my opinion this should give tough competition to the iphones and samsung there's handheld astro mode super moon etc it would be a good comparison video coming to the performance you get the latest flagship diamond city 9200 it is a 4 nanometer chip and this is the first phone in india to come with diamond city 9200 now we did antu 2 which gives you an overall score for cpu ram storage everything so it scored about 12 lakh which is one of the best score but let's play pubg new state that's the real testing and you can play pubg new state at 90 fps so we'll play at max setting because flagship why not nice. it took me four headshots to kill someone nice, nice skill now it doesn't get warm on the back or near the camera but you can feel a little bit of warmth over here Overall I would say the performance is good. It's also good to see that the younger Vivo X90 also has the same Diamond City 9200 chip. So performance more or less on both the phones is the same. Now as you get the latest Front Touch OS 13 based on Android 13. Now there are not many software features but this one little feature that I really liked. You get enhanced eye protection mode which is based on hardware. So you see in eye protection mode you have this option called smart eye protection. Now if you see side by side with the iPhone, see the iPhone has all yellowish color whereas the Vivo is more true life like colors. So as per Vivo they use hardware level chip to dynamically adjust blue light as per the content on the screen. Now you get 120 watt fast charging on both Vivo X90 and X90 Pro. Also the X90 Pro has wireless charging so you can wirelessly charge with any Qi charger and if you buy Vivo's flash charge you can wirelessly charge it at 50 watt. Vivo X90 Pro is also IP68 water resistant. Also Vivo has promised 3 years of software updates plus security updates on both the X90 and X90 Pro. And you also get international warranty on both the X90 series. Really? Yeah, yeah. If any wow. of you take these phones internationally they've got you covered now overall here's what i think i'm not aware of the pricing of x90 pro and vivo x90 but the one inch sensor is expensive plus they had to remove the ultrasonic sensor everything so if they can price the vivo x90 pro under 90000 and vivo x90 under 60000 then it seems like a good deal Also I was checking there's a 10% cashback on HDFC SBI ICICI credit card if you pre-book so I thought it might be useful information for you Now if you guys want we can do a dedicated camera comparison video or overall comparison video if the team TW community is interested in So on that note this is the signing off see you in the next video pew 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 from Vietnam <laughs>